The show was 10 minutes of talking followed by 18 minutes of wrestling. Heard that. Over and over for three hours. Bianca, Oscar, and Alexa come out, and then Damage Control comes out, and they talk for 10 minutes. And what they conclude is that Bailey challenges Bianca to a ladder match at Extreme Rules, coming off a badly injured leg, and that tonight it will be Bianca and Io Sky. This leads to Bianca and Io Sky. They wrestle for 18 minutes. It's, uh, it's good. There's a little bit of miscommunication here and there, but overall it's good. And uh, Bianca ends up hitting a dive to the outside, and... Uh, EO goes for a springboard, and Bianca just moves and hits her move and pins her. So uh, we had a clean finish. That's good. We had a variety of finishes on the show tonight, which is uh, an improvement. We had a Ray interview talking about his match later, and uh, that's going to be with Seth Rollins. We had Miz lining up security guards to take out Dexter. Seth Rollins comes out. He does a 10-minute promo. These may not have been 10 minutes, but, I mean, they're extended promos. And he talks about Riddle, and he's going to beat Riddle at the pay-per-view, and he's smart, and Riddle is dumb. And this leads to a match, which got 18 minutes. Seth Rollins, Rey Mysterio. It was a very good match, but this one, in fact, did have outside interference. Dom came out, had a steel chair, and uh, he gave the chair to Rey, wanted Rey to hit him. Rey refused, so Rhea ends up shoving... Ray into the post, he's thrown into the ring, he gets pinned, and that is the end of Ray Mysterio. Bobby Lashley did a promo, and he basically told Riddle, uh, you know, you're going you're gonna to kill that uh, Seth Rollins at the pay-per-view, do it for his cage fighters, he's never been in the cage before. By the way, if you ever get involved in my match again. And Riddle's like, oh, all right, well, okay. And then Lashley goes, but yeah, kick his ass. Tease for uh, down the road, I'd presume. So we had Chad Gable and Otis coming down to the ring, and they faced Kevin Owens and Johnny Gargano. 13 minutes. It was a good match. And uh, this one, interference, but it was different. Austin Theory tried to interfere. He tried to hit Gargano with the briefcase. Gargano avoided it, super kicked him, hit the one final beat, and pinned Chad Gable. So, good match. Kevin Owens, obviously, very over. He looked good in this match. Finn Balor tried to recruit AJ. AJ didn't, didn't want it. We had a segment with Chad Gable and Theory in the back, and uh, Braun Strowman called the wrong number, wanted to talk to uh, Chad Gable, told him he was going to literally, are you ready for this? He's going to kill him next week because the match is in Gable's hometown, and he's going to kill him he says, and they won't have to fly his body elsewhere for the funeral. We had a handicap match. Thank God this didn't get 18 minutes. Omos killed two guys. They are now building up Omos to be beaten by Braun Strowman. <laughs> Which, this Braun Strowman's over, brother. So you may as well. We had the debut of Candice LeRae. She defeated Nikki A.S.H., Nikki Ash, who hopefully will never be Nikki Ash again. In a minute 42, Nikki was so sad, whoosh, threw her mask down. Hopefully that's the end of that gimmick. We had Sami Zayn versus AJ Styles. They had just over 18 minutes. And it was a good match. Crowd loves Sami Zayn. Although the biggest pop was actually the end when uh, we had a distraction finish where Solo Sokoa ended up giving AJ the kablammy. On the ring apron. That's what we call it in the biz. The kablammy. And Sami Zayn hit his kick and pinned him. And then uh, the place went crazy. And a lot of people bought t-shirts. God bless Sami Zayn. Judgment Day came down to the ring. And they talked for a long time. They offered AJ a spot in the Judgment Day. He ended up flipping him off. This was actually later. But he, they offered him a spot. So this led to Matt Riddle and Damian Priest. They went just over 18 minutes, and it was good. Matt Riddle is excellent. And uh, yes, Finn Balor distracted Matt Riddle. However, it's like they alternate now. It's like distraction leading to the guy getting beaten. 
Then it's distraction, but the guy thwarts the distraction and gets the win. That's what they did here, twice on this show. And so he gets, uh, he puts him in the splatle and uh, pins him. And then they beat down Riddle afterwards. And who should come down to make the save but to the return of Edge? And Edge ends up uh, spearing Damian Priest and uh, spearing Finn Balor. And then he challenges Finn Balor to an I quit match at Extreme Rules. First time they've ever wrestled before. So that should be a very, very good match. Uh, the AJ thing, by the way, which I glossed over here, uh, they want to recruit AJ. AJ, you know, Finn Balor goes like this. AJ goes, ba bam, flips him off. They beat the heck out of this guy. And then they put a chair around his neck, and Finn Balor is going to break his neck with his chair. But he goes through the big old stomp and stomp. He stops in midair. And he gets down and he tells AJ, I could have ended you right there. But you're my friend. And that's not what friends do, which is true. Friends don't break other friends' necks. Oh, and so anyway, he, uh, he spared him. And so the tease to AJ maybe or maybe not joining the Judgment Day continues. And, bro, that's raw. That's like it. You know, it's got a lot of good wrestling on the show if you're a fan of wrestling. If you don't watch any other wrestling, you just want to see some wrestling every week, great show. But there's really not much to talk about. It's they talk. They build up a match, they do a match. They talk, they build up a match, they do a match. They talk, and then, you know, I bet you anything Extreme Rules is going to be awesome. Because Hunter's booking this the way he used to book NXT, which uh, everybody liked NXT television. But honestly, like, it was boring most weeks. It was just simple. It was just, here's a couple interviews, matches, and the big stuff happens at the pay-per-view. Which is all well and good, but, you know, it'd be one thing if this was a one-hour show or a two-hour show. But man, this style for three hours, it's just, it's long. I'm just waiting for something to wake me up. And uh, I didn't get it. But it wasn't bad. It wasn't stupid. It was just long. Moved everything forward clearly, cleanly, concisely. Maybe not concisely over the span of three hours. But I mean, what can you do? I don't want to see them... You turn the first hour or the third hour into just nothingness. I mean, I'm not sure exactly what the answer is, but there's got to be a way that somehow some of these segments get through a little bit quicker. And, and I don't know what it is because I don't want to see any more nonsense get added that's not entertaining, that's just to fill time. So I got to be honest, I don't know at three hours exactly what the answer is, but there are very few times where a three-hour show does not feel like a, a, a slog to get through. And I'm still amazed that anybody who can sit this, you know, sit there and watch it live and not on some sort of delay on their DVR where they can at least fast-forward through some of the commercials to make it at least a little bit of an easier watch. So that was it, everybody. That's Raw. And I uh, wish I could tell you more about it, but that's all that happened. Google Tiger Jackson wrestler, and then go into images, and then go into GIFs. <laughs> he does all these spots where he spins on his head. I'm crying. And I'm supposed to be watching this stupid show, but I just keep watching Tiger Jackson spots on Google. I hereby induct him into the Matt Cleary Hall of Awesome. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Thank you, Craig. That's two to, that's two to zero or whatever. Aye. Okay. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.